was in the year 1982 when my family moved to Tucson. That's when my father started as a faculty member here in the College of Engineering, specifically hydrology. And I can remember growing up in the Harshbarger building, putting mail in the mailboxes and being all over campus because my mom was working here in geosciences as well. So I kind of feel like I've grown up here in the College of Engineering. And I was an undergraduate student here at the U of A and so is my brother and now I'm on the other side of the table here um, giving back to students so I, I feel like I've lived my life through this college and that's why this honor um, is extremely special to me. Dr. Rushian is one of the best in the world at what he does, study aerosols and clouds. But what I admire is that he has a kind and noble heart. He works really hard for all students to be the best in what they do. A lot of the research we do is to help forecast air pollution to minimize the effects it can have on the public. The largest uncertainty in our estimates of future climate change relate to how these aerosol particles form and influence clouds. And so a lot of our research is doing airborne field campaigns to do these difficult measurements in clouds. Because of how important students are to me and how important mentoring activities are for me, I would like to devote the majority of this, this, this generous award to allowing more students to come to these field projects over the course of the next year or two. One of the first professors I actually had was Dr. Sarushian. I had him for Engineering 102, which is the required engineering um, course. And I could always tell that Dr. Sarushian was really passionate about his research. That was something he always brought into his teaching and into the classroom and really explained to us why it was important, the work that he's doing, and how it relates to kind of the future with climate change and health and those sorts of things. The most exciting part of our research is our field work, and that is what gives me the most satisfaction when I can take a group of graduate students to the field. For instance, this summer we'll be going to study clouds over the Eastern Pacific Ocean for a month and a half. Then we'll be going to Southeast Asia, flying around the South China Sea for about a month and a half. It's been a real blessing having Dr. Sarushin as my PhD advisor. He works hard to expose us, his students, to world-class research. So I'm in the right place with the right person, with the right team and I feel very fortunate for that. To see the look on these students' faces and how intense these research activities can be for a spurt of six weeks, it really, um, it's, it's probably the best part of my job.